testing. This is brain exercises number one. Finding squares and their roots. Roots. Uh, if you uh, if you recall algebra, a linear equation is in the form x equals y, where every value of x is uh, equal to a value of y, a straight line. So this would be a linear equation. When you're going x equals y squared, there's two solutions. So the the graph takes the form of a uh, parabola. It's kind of like uh, two values here on either side of the axis. Uh, so x equals, that's called a quadratic equation with this with the square and so on. x equals y to the third would be a cubic equation equation and that's uh, uh, sine wave whatever uh, it goes under and above the axes. Uh, I might not have done that right. X, x equals y squared might be more of... Well, I think it, as it gets higher, x equals 4, which would be quartic. Then it starts going like this, where it's, it's no longer touching on the axis. It's, they get wider apart as you go higher and higher in the powers. Anyways, that's kind of an overview of, of uh, algebraic equations. But we're focusing here on, on the square, square one. So I've made a little chart here uh, using 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Well, if you add a 0, keep adding zeros to the 4. 40 times 40 is 1600. That's a hundred times larger than the first 16. So you go 400 times 400, 160,000. That's also a hundred times larger than than the second one here. If you go 4,000 times 4,000 you get 16 million which is actually a thousand times more than the third one. So you've got a pattern going here. Now if you want to check that with uh, 5, 5 times 5 25, 50 times 50 2, 2,500, it's the same pattern, 100, 100, uh, 1,000. So you could construct a table here starting 1 to 10 where x is equal to 1. Uh, this would be uh, 1 million and so on up to 10 which would be 100 million. The pattern holds true. So if you're trying to find the square root of, of one of these higher numbers, let's uh, 